Hey guys, welcome back. This is the beginning of the project to build an aluminum frame KX500 Kawasaki quad. We're going to start out with the 450 aluminum frame and a KX500 motor. In uh, this video will be the uh, mods we do to the frame, um, some of the maintenance we're going to do on the frame, engine rebuild and getting the engine fitted in and building a custom pipe. So let's get started. Um, <clears throat> this frame was sent to me by the customer. Um, it's obviously a used frame but it's in pretty good shape. No broken areas. There's a couple of broken bolts on the lower motor mounts but all in all it's in really good shape and it's nice and straight. Uh, but there are a couple of things we got to take care of right off the bat. I've started on it. Um, so I can show you a couple other things. Um, there's the uh, broken bolts right there, but we've cut off that motor mount on the far side, um, cut off the mount back there and relieved the top of the um, linkage tab. Have to do that to give enough room for the KX500 motor to fit in there. Um, so as far as actual mods to the frame, that's really all we've had to do so far. Um, there's an adjustable bushing in the left hand side of the frame. This is so that you can adjust it for the different widths in the swing arms for machining tolerance um, without overstressing the frame. So we'll adjust that later on. But it's it came with that bushing in it, so that's good. Um, these two bushings, there's a bushing in the frame here. It's a steel bushing, you can see it. And then around this side, there's another steel bushing on this side. Those are still available from Kawasaki, and so we just ordered up a couple of those and pressed them in. But down here on the linkage, there's a bushing required in here, a steel bushing, and another steel bushing required right here. Otherwise, the, the swing arm pivot bolt, or the forward linkage bolt, I guess is what it actually is, will just rattle around in there, and of course, um, you need the steel insert to give it something to, to push and pull on and wear. Those, however, aren't available from Kawasaki. Most of the 450 frames you see out there on the internet, those have all been taken out because they are really hard to come by, and so people knock every, everything out that they can get. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get some material, and we're going to make a couple new bushings in the lathe. All right, we're ready to cut our first bushing. I got a, out a piece of inch and a quarter. 1144 stress proof steel. Um, this is, has really good wear properties and the machine's real nice, so we'll get started on making the first part.
One of the two bushings has to have two flats on it. So the larger of the two bushings, we've got that turned up, but it has to have two flats, 180 degrees apart, so that when it presses into the frame, it can't rotate. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna drop it in on some parallel bars, then we're gonna machine the two flats. Okay, now what we have to do is flip the part, zero out the DRO, and cut the same amount off the other side, 180 degrees away. Like we talked about earlier, these are where the two bushings are going to go. This is the bolt that needs to go in there. You can see that, you know, without the bushing, it rattles around. And this is the linkage arm that needs to go in there. And you can see it's got a lot of free play. So our bushes are going to fit in the into the aluminum. Or press in there with the flange on the inside. This flange is going to stick out and take up the space that's necessary for the linkage. I use inch and a quarter um, steel instead of uh, the inch and an eighth like the factory ones were because that gives me a little bit better surface area on here so when the linkage wants to move back and forth it's got it has a little bit more surface area there so um, I'll go ahead and uh, warm these up a little bit that makes the aluminum swell up i'll put some loctite uh, sleeve retainer on them and pop them both in all right uh, both sleeves are in you can see now bolt's got a nice tight fit not going to go anywhere and our linkage fit piece is going to fit in there real nice and snug I'll just tap that in there with a dead blow hammer. So I'm going to grease all the linkage pieces. The uh, This particular set of bearings was in really good shape. The bearing back here and the swing arm bearings are all worn out. Um, they've gotten a lot of water and stuff in them. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all of those. Just swap them out with brand new ones and new seals. And then we'll put this back together. Now that we have the linkage in, we have it all tightened down. Works nice and smooth, we're good there. Um, this is all snug. Um, I've replaced these bearings, or the, the sleeves in here. Uh, replaced all the swing arm bearings, so the next thing I'm gonna do is fit the swing arm in here, and then we're gonna drop the motor in. Um, the motor's been test fitted in here once before. I'll show you a quick picture of that. Um, now that we're a little bit farther along, that was a rough fit. Um, got the bottom end all rebuilt and it's in primer right now and so I need to make sure I get all the sprockets lined up and get all the spacers made so before we paint the motor and scratch it all up we're going to go ahead and put the swing arm in the rest of the suspension we're going to get the motor fit in and line up and we'll make the spacers.